just looking at this verse today from uh, Luke chapter 1 verse 53 and it says he has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent, sent away empty and you know, sometimes we are really aware that um, not everything that is available in life is available to us that we're conscious that some people appear to be wealthy and as some people appear to have so much the things that we we want to get hold of maybe the things that we somewhat envy them possessing and we feel we're a bit hard done by and uh, there's something very special about this verse and the way in which when uh, we see the reality of of God's favor God's grace to those who don't necessarily have everything those who may not have had a, a a wonderful run in life and things might not have been so easy and I was thinking about that today when I was chatting to my wife and we were talking about a situation and someone who we had uh, encountered and really life had been pretty pretty grim pretty raw um, they've gone through some difficult experiences for sure and uh, um, I was thinking about you know the amazing privilege it is sometimes to be around people who haven't necessarily had everything and so the way in which life has happened for them hasn't been you know a, 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 an easy road it's been a very difficult one and the struggle maybe with the realities of that and the impact it's had on them and yet it, those opportunities can mean that they find uh, hope and and in the gospel and in, the, in the, the good news that Jesus talks about and that he came to share and he, he, he calls his followers to be part of that plan in that good news it's all there's a lot of good news for the poor there's a lot of hope for those who might have felt really hopeless I was watching a documentary yesterday it was all about Detroit in Michigan a city that really suffered quite dramatically from the decline of the motor industry and uh, many people uh, end up in foreclosure which is you know basically it's debts against your house which so it's quite a difficult situation if someone wants to buy the house uh, it's, it works differently to the UK and someone buys the house they, they they basically get the debt with it and people who getting their water cut off and stuff like that and really difficult situations and uh, some of the desperate scenarios that you find there you realize that um, it really opens your eyes to see the situation that poverty can bring uh, even in a western country even in in a situation that we would think as first world actually Detroit has really struggled quite deeply and that can be true for many people in the world it can be true of people in the states in the uk it can be true of people of course in many other countries which we tend to think of as poorer nations and where, there, where there's a lot more abject and very extreme poverty and so those who are in that sort of situation in life and those who struggle also can be incredibly open and ready um, when you when you're aware of what you don't have it sometimes brings you a point of of, of being aware of your need and aware of of how much things of this world don't really fulfill that need don't meet it it's quite easy to be blinded isn't it by the things that we do have and they give a sense of satisfaction but they don't really hit the spot uh, and are people who maybe don't have quite so much in life might feel that more strongly it might become more apparent more easily to them so just praying today actually for those who maybe are feeling that they don't have everything um, just remembering that verse Luke 1 verse 53 says that how God fills the hungry with good things he he really meets their needs and I'm not just talking about sort of practical physical needs I believe that God wants to bring blessing and help and strength and provision in lots of ways but a deep 
realization and a deep understanding of the, the ability for God to meet our deepest needs, our spiritual needs, our needs in every sense of the word. So I want to pray that for us, that we would discover that reality, that we would be uh, getting a new sense of how God meets those deepest needs. So maybe other people, maybe people who've got much more, maybe people who appear to have so much more, may never find and may never discover that reality. Maybe life um, has got too many trinkets, too many uh, distractions for them. But uh, may we find and rediscover that he is the one who meets our deepest needs and that is good news, the good news that Jesus came and brought to us. It's good news for the poor, it's good news for those who don't have good news to understand that God brings fulfilment and meets our deepest needs. So bless you today, and um, I, I really hope that is helpful for you, and bless you wherever you are, and uh, hope you enjoy the little view here um, from South Bristol. All right, bless you, bye.